Hello and welcome to week 11 of Com 384, Writing for Public Relations. In this week's module, we're going to cover feature news releases and hybrid news releases. I hope you're ready. Please remember that this curriculum is in alignment with the text, strategic writing, multimedia writing for public relations, advertising, and more by Marsh, Guth, and Short. Also keep in mind that this module is only supplemental to the text itself. Remember to take good notes so you can ace your next quiz. Let's get started, shall we? The feature news release focuses on softer, less important, and less immediate news than does the announcement news release. Feature news releases often are human interest stories that highlight some aspect of your organization. Feature news releases are not as common as announcement news releases and traditionally attract less uh, media attention. Always consider whether your feature news release could work as an announcement news release. However, your organization has an interesting story, but it's not a good hard news story. You should consider a feature news release or a pitch. Feature news releases often present entertaining human interest stories, such as the efforts of an officer of your organization to hire the homeless. Other feature news releases focus on topics bigger than your organization and use representatives of your organization as experts. For example, Hallmark Cards writes feature news releases on the history and traditions of important holidays, such as Mother's Day. In addressing these interesting topics, the news release uses Hallmark experts and research for evidence, thus bringing credibility to the company and linking it to holiday traditions. Some feature news releases include information from non-employee, non-competitive sources to round out the story. Avoid the temptation to include unattributed opinions in feature news releases. Like all news releases, Features must be objective and unbiased. Feature news releases generally begin with a traditional news headline. However, many feature news releases attempt to include clever wordplay, such as a pun in the headline. Feature news releases don't have traditional news leads. Instead, the lead attempts to spark the reader's interest with a question, an anecdote, an image, or a similar device. Feature news releases use storytelling skills, so they're not inverted pyramids as are announcement news releases. The most dramatic paragraph in a feature news release might be the final paragraph. Unlike announcement news releases, feature news releases often use present tense to attribute quotations. For example, says instead of said. Present tense attributions can help create the sense that a story, not just a report, is being told. Check to see which verb tense your target medium tends to use in similar stories. Hybrid news releases usually are short. They have an attention-grabbing lead, after which they adopt the inverted pyramid style. They are called hybrids because they begin with a feature news release but quickly become an announcement news release. The hybrid news release combines the announcement style and the feature style of news releases. It begins with a traditional news headline. The hybrid has a feature-like lead designed to attract the reader's attention. Then the hybrid moves to an announcement style, delivering the facts in an inverted pyramid form. Unlike the feature news release, information in a hybrid news release becomes progressively less important. Often, the first sentence after the feature lead begins a new paragraph and specifies who, what, when, and sometimes where. The hybrid news release can be ideal for a hard news story that has a whimsical or human interest angle. For example, a student group's sponsorship of a weird pet tricks competition for charity.
Congratulations on completing this week's module. Here are some things to remember. One, always consider whether your feature news release could work as an announcement news release. However, if your organization has an interesting story, but it's not a good hard news story, you should consider a feature news release or a pitch. Two, avoid the temptation to include unattributed opinions in feature news releases. Like all news releases, features must be objective and unbiased. Three, feature news releases use storytelling skills, so they're not inverted pyramids as are announcement news releases. The most dramatic paragraph in a feature news release might be the final paragraph. Unlike announcement news releases, feature news releases often use present tense to attribute quotations. For example, says instead of said. Present tense attributions can help create the sense that a story, not just a report, is being told. And four, the hybrid news release can be ideal for a hard news story that has a whimsical or human interest angle. For example, a student group sponsorship of a Weird Petrix competition for charity. Now, let's see what you can remember from this lesson. Well, that's it for week 11 of COM 384, Writing for Public Relations. In this week's module, we covered feature news releases and hybrid news releases. I hope you took good notes. Remember to review your notes regularly. Good luck and be safe.